Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Mr. Hino's Leg Robotics. In today's video, I have the cool Spike Prime has all the sensors on it robot. I love this robot because that's the whole thing about robotics is getting the sensors to make this robot do the things that you want it to do. And I love the EV3 when we were able to get all the sensors onto that robot. And this, the Spike Prime has every single sensor. So we have the distance sensor, the pressure or touch sensor, and the color or light sensor right there, all in the same bot. And it's really cool just because if you want to utilize each one, they're already on there. The EV3 had four sensor ports. The reason why this only has three is because the gyro sensor is already built into the Spike Prime Hub. So today what I want to do is just be able to show you the really cool things you can do in a program using all these sensors. And I will be shortly coming up with an out school class, um, basically uh, a, a way for you to utilize these sensors um, if you join the class. And I'll do a separate video to let you know when that's up and running. But it's going to be a four part series just using each one of these sensors and the gyro sensor on this hub. So let's go ahead and take a look at this robot. Okay guys, so there it is. The Spike Prime Every Sensor On Here robot. I don't even think it has a name. But here we go. Here's your distance sensor. Here's your touch or force sensor. And there's your color or light sensor. So the whole package is on here. We used up every single sensor port. And that's the difference between Spike Prime and EV3. EV3 had the four uh, sensor ports but that was because the gyro was external here with spike prime it's internal so they only have three sensor ports i mean you could put sensors into the other ports so you know if you were running two color sensors hey so be it as long as you were only using the certain amount of motors so six ports versus eight ports eh, you guys can do the math and figure out what you like but i really like this bot i had to take off the front part here just because um, this part I didn't want to interfere with the distance sen uh, sensor here and I might consider putting a little bit something on the back because there's so much weight here it does tip to the front a little bit I don't know if it's running it should be fine but let's go ahead and see some of the things that this spike prime robot can do using all three of these sensors Okay, in this first clip, I have the program set for the distance sensor. And if it senses anything 12 inches or less, it's going to make it stop, back up, and turn left. And I have it repeated two times. In this next program, I did the same thing, except inserted the pressure or touch sensor. So if it gets pressed in, it will do the same thing. And in this last clip, I just took out the touch sensor or pressure sensor and inserted the color red for the color sensor. So if it sensed red, it would do the same thing. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this robot. It's really cool to be able to get it all in the same bot. And hopefully you're able to see how this works. Again, if you're on the Spike Prime app, this is basically the competition bot that allows you just to put the different sensors on here. And again, I took this um, front attachment off just because you can't distance sensor anything if that attachment is in the way so hopefully you guys liked it um, i appreciate you guys watching the link on amazon to the spike prime kit is in the description if you want to check that out 
I am Mr. Hino with Missing Lego Robotics. I am out.